In this video on styles, we're going to look at style types. In general, you'll probably find yourself working with uh, about three different types of style which are represented in the styles palette here uh, by these small icons down the right hand side. What's probably a good idea is if we work through each of those uh, independently and then I can explain how each of the different style types works. So if we look at this first paragraph of the solar system element here uh, and we have a look at the list paragraph style that's got a little back to front P icon next to it and that back to front P icon signifies uh, a paragraph symbol in Word. So you've probably seen that before um, in your paragraph group and that is the show hide tool. So if I toggle that on and off what that actually shows me is the underlying code that's being used within this document and I can see every time I've pressed the enter key it's uh, it's produced one of these back to front P symbols every time I've pressed the space bar I can see a small um, full stop if you like between words and so on so the show hide tool uh, uses the paragraph symbol as its um, icon but in terms of what that means for a style, um, if I click on list paragraph, what list paragraph does is it indents. Um, and I didn't ask it to indent the full paragraph. My cursor was just sitting in front of the A of as. So that's quite interesting in itself. So if I undo that again, and I try and force it just to indent that first line by highlighting this time, and I return to list paragraph, I click it again, it completely ignores what I've done and it indents the entire paragraph again. So the reason for this um, is that it's paragraph style. The, the, the smallest unit that it can actually operate on is a full paragraph. Now it can apply to several paragraphs but it can't apply to anything uh, beneath the scale of a paragraph. So regardless of how, how much I try to force it to do a single line, it won't do it. So a paragraph um, style, anything with that back to front P symbol next to it, will basically operate across the entire paragraph. Um, in contrast, um, anything with a small A character next to it is a character style. So what uh, that does is basically it applies to anything from a single character up uh, and to actually apply that I need to select for example a word or a, a sub part of a word and then I apply that style so this can apply as I said to a single character uh, right the way up to an entire paragraph or the entire document so it's entirely in your hands as to um, how much of your text you apply that character style to. Um, the other styles of which the most important are probably the heading styles um, have both symbols next to them and they're referred to as linked styles. Now these work in a, a particular way so um, if for example I just put my cursor within a paragraph and I apply a linked style it applies to the entire paragraph so in that respect it behaves very much like a paragraph style however if I select a single word and I repeat the same thing it just applies to that one word which is now behaving like a character style so linked styles have attributes of both paragraph and character styles so understanding um, how those different styles work is very useful and important so it's just worth familiarizing yourself with those uh, different icons and having a little play around to understand how they work in practice.